Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Uh, this time, uh, we are going to show you all about our universal easy fit RG6 compression connector. And you're going to find that this is going to be probably the easiest F connector you've ever worked with for coaxial cable, that being quad or dual shield. It works with tri-shield. Uh, it's a universal fit type connector, and uh, it's going to save you a lot of time, hassle, and hand punctures. So uh, they come in 10, 20, 50, and 100 packs, and uh, let's go ahead and get into them, and I'm going to show you how they go onto a cable, and this is going to be pretty cool. Okay, so before we get into actually terminating one of these guys onto a coaxial cable, I wanted to go over a couple of features with you. The first thing is that it does a, the reason why it's universal easy fit is there is a uh, circumferential, uh, which means all the way around the inside in a circle, uh, capture mechanism that's in there that makes contact with the braid shield. And it is designed in such a way that it will make contact and capture the braid shield of dual shield, tri shield, and even quad shield. Uh, even the really thick outdoor quad shield stuff that we sell. So it's a uh, very much easy fit and traditional uh, F connectors require, um, they have a sleeve mechanism that requires you to use a flaring tool in a lot of cases in order to expand the jacket on the coaxial cable so that you can actually get the F connector on. Now using a flaring tool, uh, if it's properly fit for your cable, uh, requires a lot of force and that's not exactly a fun task and it leads a lot it leads to a lot of people getting their hands cut or punctured uh, so this one doesn't require you to use a flaring tool so you can put that away you don't need it again if you're using these particular f connectors uh, they're not designed for outdoor use uh, they are designed for indoor use they're mildly water resistant uh, but definitely not going to survive a downpour uh, so if you do use them outside be sure that you seal, uh, especially this this connection here where the 7 16th inch wrench goes onto this nut. Uh, be sure that you seal that and also the rear of it with some 3M mastic tape. It's a rubber stretchy tape that'll uh, seal it from the outdoor elements and then you can use it outside. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and actually uh, show you how this easily goes onto a quad shield uh, coaxial cable. Be right back. Our cut and strip tool that we've had for quite some time is actually uh, something that is a great tool to use, especially because our uh, coaxial cable is solid copper conductor. We also have a new tool that we're introducing with our coaxial cable and F connectors, and that is our RG6 compression tool. And this does this works strictly for RG6 cable uh, with F con uh, compression connectors. This particular tool. Uh, is going to last you a lifetime so it's not something that's going to break it's it's designed in such a way that it gives a a direct shot with this lever with this lever mechanism it's basically an inline compression technology which differs from the the squeeze compression technology that you see on the more compact crimpers some f connectors um, are not the same length as others in other words you may have to adjust this wheel now we've got a uh, a nut here and then you can simply turn this nut and then adjust your wheel here in or out uh, depending on the F connector that you're using so that you can adjust it properly. Now this does come preset out of the factory for use with the uh, True Cable F connector. And as it, as it happens, our F connectors are standard length. So you don't have much to worry about. So just line up the edge of this wheel with this line and that'll get you the proper uh, compression uh, without over compressing and uh, that's how that works. This load gate is serves two purposes, and you definitely want to uh, use it in your process of crimping. Uh, this loading gate, uh, when you put your coaxial cable in and you close the gate, it not only keeps your cable from popping out, but it also serves as the stop point for the rear of the uh, F connector. So uh, if you were to put the cable in and then terminate, you're gonna get imprecise results. So always use the loading gate, it's there for a reason and you'll have good results out of this tool. And the next, and certainly the, the, the last but not the least, is a, is a good pair of flush cutters. Um, when you're dealing with uh, quad shield, uh, coaxial cable especially, you've got 
two braid shields and you've got two foil shields and one of those foil shields will need to be nipped and then removed now there's various ways of dealing with that including like trying to use a razor but a flush cutter is the safest way of going about it and it's just a handy tool to have around all right so we've talked enough about the tools now let's actually get enough connector on coming right back uh at this point it's really simple to put on enough connector uh rf connector watch Simply put it on like this and push down until it stops and take a look at the front. And if it didn't seat all the way, then give it another little extra push. And there we go. The white dielectric is making is basically right at the very bottom of the uh, of the threads on this nut here. So it's coming up, but it's not coming through. And the uh, conductor, the center copper conductor is maybe sticking about a sixteenth of an inch past the uh, end of the F connector, which is what you want to see. You don't want a long piece of conductor hanging out from the F connector here. Anything more than an eighth of an inch is definitely not good. Don't go. Uh, you might need to actually go in with a flush cutter and and nip it so that you get down to a more reasonable length. Okay, so the F connector has been put on, but it needs to be compressed now. And so what's going to happen is this this uh, rear part will compress upward into the body of the F connector and it will actually squeeze that cable all the way around it so that it can't come off. For that, you use our handy compression tool. So we're gonna open up the handle here, open up the gate, and then you put the F connector in like so, just load it in and then close the gate. Remember, close that gate and then simply compress. That's it, open up the gate, take it out, and there you go. You have a fully compressed F connector all the way around. And one thing that's always recommended is to give it a good tug like this to make sure it doesn't come off and it does not come off. So that is a good F connector termination and it's ready to screw into something. Uh, and then you can tighten it down with a 7 16 inch wrench if you wish. Um, don't over tighten though, for the same reason you might damage your piece of end equipment. So uh, tighten it down and then maybe just lightly uh, tighten it up with a 7 16 inch wrench if you wish. So that pretty well covers it. Uh, it's very straightforward. This, this, this F connector is going to work with our dual shield, our quad shield. It's going to work with basically just about anybody's uh, coaxial cable out there. It's going to make your life a lot simpler. You notice I didn't get into using a flaring tool here. I wasn't massively using a lot of force to try to uh, push on this connector, which you run into with many other brands. Not that one. So anyway, uh, please leave a comment in the section below. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. And with that, I'm going to say you have a great day and happy networking.